You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. With the world in the midst of a fourth industrial revolution, which has been accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic, Cambodia is making efforts in many sectors to modernize and become competitive in its digital development. Amidst the push to bring Cambodia into the modern age, the Cambodian Academy of Digital Technology has developed the first robot to speak and interpret Khmer, and it is currently working as a receptionist at the Institute. EAC News reporter Kristen Winters has the story. Today I'm at the Cambodia Academy of Digital Technology, where I'm meeting with its newest host and receptionist, Suk. Suk is a Khmer text-to-speech robot who is constantly learning and improving to better communicate with people in Cambodia in their native language. Funded by a $20,000 grant from the Ministry of Post and Telecommunications, SUC is integrated with functions that can capture and recognize human faces, interpret spoken Khmer, and generate its own responses rather than reciting a pre-recorded script. The robots team is constantly developing software and gathering data, which will allow it to communicate seamlessly in Khmer and English. EAC News spoke with AI Research Coordinator Prat Chan Odom to better understand the challenging process of creating software that can interact in the Khmer language. So, um, actually, this robot, we have integrated three main uh, systems. The first one is uh, Khmer automatic speech recognition, which simply uh, speech to text, and also Khmer chatbot. And also another engine is uh, Khmer text to speech. Sok's team has encountered a number of challenges specific to working with the Khmer language, especially when it comes to sourcing enough quality data. The very, the very challenging in this research is the lack of data. As we know, um, um, Khmer language is very, uh, the, the resource is really low. Mm. And uh, to build such system, we need a huge amount of data, mm. like in text, speech, image, and so on, for example. So, um, we really need a lot of time to collect our data in order to make the system uh, better, perform better. And the data that we need to collect also need to be qualified. Uh, I mean, uh, we, we also need a good quality of data as well. Because it's just like when you teach someone, you need to give um, a very good quality of data or knowledge. It's just like transfer the knowledge from humans to the robot. So it's really important. The lack of data means the team is often building software from scratch. Another challenge arises from the written structure of Khmer. Sook's chatbot developer, Li Heng Un, notes that since Khmer words and characters are not separated when written, he must manually segment and input words and characters for Sook to learn. Okay, so the challenge would be um, in the word fragmentation of Khmer language. So basically in English, you don't have to segment those words at all because um, in, a, in, a, in English sentence, it would separate um, each word by space already. But in Khmer, there is no space in between each word. So you need to figure out how to tokenize them or segment them into words before it could actually um, put into the chatbot system for it to learn. The team hopes the robot will be able to communicate effectively through WhatsApp within six months, in addition to eventually being able to converse with ChatGPT. Once SOC is out of the research and development stage, the team wants to export the software to a variety of industries that will be able to program the robot to fit individual needs. Uh, in the future, if you want, okay, if you say, if I want this system to integrate into specific fields, uh, you can also get this uh, system and be able to input the data or information related to specific field by your own. He's going to be a suitable uh, human assistant for providing some uh, uh, basic information which can uh, reduce much work from humans uh, answering um, same to the same question or same answer multiple times. Um, for example, to banks or to uh, uh, any telecom company, they can use it as a, for customer service. For example, when, whenever people come into your restaurant or to your center or your institutions, they can just say, okay, uh, hello, um, may I have you 
uh, what are the information you're looking for and stuff like that. Odam sees the lack of human resources in scientific research a major setback for Cambodia's technological progress. With more menial tasks being done by technology, the hope is that people will be freer to pursue higher ventures, reflecting the royal government's slogan, new technologies, new job opportunities. While Cambodia is dedicated to developing its technological relevance, it still faces major challenges in terms of the public's digital and social media literacy. Yeah, digital literacy is very important. And then uh, they can start to adopt bit by bit and then they can know the, 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 the benefits of technology and then they can move their business to digital and then start with the data, with the AI. With its research team facing so many challenges, SOC is an advanced feat of teamwork, dedication, and expertise that brings pride and prestige to Cambodia's technological endeavors. It has already had the honor of meeting Prime Minister Hun Sen. I think uh, oh, his favorite Khmer word is uh, when, whenever we, we call uh, him SOC, he always interacts. So that, that's why I think <laughs> what he's like the most is being called from us. So he responds to his name very well. Yeah, he responds to his name very well. And so, where did that, who chose that name? How did you come up with that? Okay, so um, that's really a good question. Um, we want to name it uh, Khmer name. So uh, I think Sok is a very famous name in Cambodia. And as the majority, the wording from our researcher, we chose Sok as a name for the robot. And it's really easy to call so yeah. just one word and precise. <laughs> CADT was established by the Ministry of Post and Telecommunications in 2013 and is the country's first telecommunication and e-commerce school. It is also host to Cambodia's first scientific research institute. The future looks bright for the students at CADT who are currently working on submissions to this year's Robocon, having won the competition last year. Just last week, students won a competition at the Mekong River Commission Summit for their technology focused on water level monitoring. As for continuing to develop software for the Khmer language, researchers are currently working on optical character recognition, which will be able to translate Khmer texts captured on camera into other languages. Kristen Winters, EAC News.